today we're going to review a little uh, product uh, for help home friends that have uh, Mazaks that have to occasionally run a few EIA programs. Uh, this is the Micro DNC uh, USB to RS-232. I'm going to give a brief overview of it and all the parameters that you need to use for the control on all M-series uh, base controls, M2s, M32s, M-pluses, as well as how to set it up uh, on the micro side. Um, checked a couple of different brands out, uh, actually bought several of them and didn't work. Uh, bought this one and was told ahead of time that I would run into the same problems and didn't. This one actually works. If you have a Mazak and you're looking to either just dump files or run it DNC from a USB drive, this is the one to buy. Um, I'll give you all the parameters and all the other setup info here shortly. In just a second, we'll be right back with you. Okay, earlier we were talking about uh, running EIA code on a Mesa Troll. Uh, with all the new CAM software out there today, um, especially the likes of Autodesk Fusion 360, um, unbeatable product at the price point. And if you're in a position in your Mazak shop where that you're going to have to be doing some EIA programming, be it just for uh, tricoidal milling um, or surfacing mold work what have you this is an excellent choice um, but back to the micro DNC uh, say that you have just posted your code from whatever cam system you're using you edit it uh, just dump it right onto your USB drive and you're ready to go out to the machine plug it into the micro DNC and away we go um, before we step out there, let's take a look at the micro DNC. Okay, um, it's really well built. It's nice. Uh, it's aluminum housing. I said earlier, it has two USB ports, an Ethernet port. Um, right here, scroll through, or DNC transfer, read from the CNC and device settings that's you know, just about an explore that way you can look through the, the different drives on the end as well as the hard disk within it all right we'll take this up just in a moment once we get out to the controller like I said I'll provide you with the uh, parameter changes within the Mazatrol as well as the device settings here to make it work with the Mazatrol M2 M32 or M plus controller. Okay, first things first, before we head out to the controller, uh, we'll need to set up the micro DNC for our use with the uh, Mazatrol M2, M32, or M plus controllers. Okay, uh, scroll over to de device settings, hit enter, start up, set it DNC data out at RS-232 handshake type software auto resend off and that's just contrast for the LCD display, display and its uh, default is 20 so I guess just leave it there okay RS-232 delay leave this at zero okay baud rate depending on your controller uh, at M plus is 9600 for uh, M32 I use 4800 and for M2 I'll use 2400 just scroll over to what uh, you want what you know for the particular machine and hit enter and you're good okay now at the micro DNC side data bits 7 important to remember that stop bits two, check bits even. Output startup off, in trigger on, delay trigger 1000. 
invert data off and weight type is WNN and that should be good to go now about to the machine okay this is our Mazatrol parameters cheat sheet uh, you can just pause the video um, to read through each one of them uh, each one of them also has an explanation as to what each of these parameter changes do uh, the only one that you'll really change probably will be G1 which is the baud rate and that would be per machine as in an M2 uh, would probably be at 2400 uh, an M32 would be at 4800 and the M plus at 9600 other than that I can't think of anything else that uh, that I would change right off but if one of you guys see something that I've missed or that is incorrect or can be modified for whatever reason to our benefit please respond below thank you okay we are now out at the controller uh, this is an old Mazak uh, FJV25 with the M plus controller uh, got our EIA program on the USB drive got the uh, micro disc uh, hooked up to the RS-232 port and to the uh, power outlet um, on the machine like so and the little magnets on the back actually hold it on quite well so go to our data I.O. just like we would if we were using uh, the CMT or anything else to that effect and what you want to do is go to tape I.O. and we're going to load tape to NC you don't have to do anything else yet now I need to go to the micro disk hit enter and it'll say prompt you for the file so menu you can just cursor over to your thumb drive and hit enter and if there's more than one file on there you just select the file that you want to download but there's only one on there so enter go ahead and hit enter again and it'll be waiting for the control at that point we just hit the start button on the NC side and it is now loading and it'll give you a percent of download as it's sending the file over. Okay, there we go. Files transferred. So let's go over to the program. Mark number 4100. And here's our. Yeah, program. Ready to run.